Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a recent tweet dated February 25, 2024, User at Mason underscore 8718 announced that the South Korean Ministry of Defense has revealed the latest iteration of its primary battle tank, the K-1A-1, now dubbed the K-1E-2. This unveiling signals a substantial advancement in South Korea's armored warfare capabilities, showcasing the nation's commitment to modernization efforts in its military. The K-1 main battle tank, originally developed in the early 1980s and introduced into service in 1987, has long been a cornerstone of South Korea's armored prowess, tailored to address the unique challenges of modern warfare specific to the Korean Peninsula. Over the years, the K-1 has undergone iterative upgrades aimed at boosting its combat efficiency, survivability, and technological superiority on the battlefield. Equipped with a 105mm main gun, sophisticated fire control systems to enhance precision, and exceptional mobility for maneuvering across varied terrains, the K-1 has continuously evolved to maintain its edge in combat situations. These enhancements have included improvements to the gunner primary sights, integration of auxiliary power units, and the implementation of overpressure systems for protection against chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear CBRN, threats, drawing from the advancements seen in the formidable K-2 Black Panther tank. The K-1E-2 upgrade introduces a range of enhancements focused on elevating the tank's combat effectiveness and survivability. Key improvements include an upgraded gunner primary sight, a new auxiliary power unit, APU, and an advanced overpressure system for CBRN protection. These upgrades underscore South Korea's commitment to sustaining a modern armored force capable of tackling diverse contemporary threats. Additionally, the South Korean Ministry of Defense has outlined plans for further iterations of its tank fleet, including the K-1A-3 and K-1E-3 upgrades. These future versions are anticipated to incorporate a novel Korean Active Protection System, APS, and a remote gun system. However, the ministry acknowledges the challenges associated with these advancements, particularly in terms of the structural implications of adding extra equipment to the turret. Apart from increased costs, there's recognition that such modifications could potentially compromise the structural integrity of the turret. Nevertheless, this announcement highlights South Korea's resolve to enhance its military capabilities amid evolving security dynamics in the region. The upgrade program transitioning the K-1 and K-1E-1 tanks to the K-1E-2 standard is slated to commence in two years, offering a significant opportunity to modernize the existing fleet. As South Korea continues to innovate and adapt its armed forces, the K-1E-2 epitomizes a fusion of proven platforms with the latest in military technology. This approach not only fortifies the country's defensive capabilities but also positions it as a frontrunner in armored warfare technology on the global stage. That's all for now. See you later.